Hi guys, welcome to GPS Academy. In this video, I'll show you how you can transfer any WordPress website from one host to another host easily and by using a cloud software. And the best part is the software is completely free. There is no hidden charges. And the name of this plugin is Migrate Guru. And this tutorial will be will be seeing how to use this plugin. Before uh, seeing uh, how to use that plugin, just let me give you a small introduction. You can skip this uh, one or two minutes introduction, but I recommend you to uh, watch this complete video so that you get the complete contest into a picture and you understand what are the things that you need to get in place before you start and when to use this method, right? So let's get started. First thing is uh, about this uh, method this is completely 100 percent free and there is no hidden charges and the transfer happens on cloud right so you save your bandwidth and data and the process is completely automated and all you need to do is initialize the transfer rest everything takes care of itself and then you can track the progress uh, from a dashboard or else uh, you can you also get an email confirmation once it is completed successfully Finally, it works with all hosting providers. If you use cPanel or FTP or major hosting providers out there, everything, it this plugin works for uh, all the hosting providers. Now, when, when you should use this method? Suppose that the site is built by using so many plugins and there are so many complex code that has been uh, used to build the website and uh, the database is also very large. So in that case, uh, you, and also you don't have any premium plugin subscriptions as well, so as to migrate the website from one host to another. So in that case, you can use this method or else uh, anyhow, you can manually migrate, right? By downloading the files and uploading it to the new host and also connecting the database once again or migrating SQL database as well. But it is a trickier process and you need certain level of expertise. So if you are not much so much expert in doing manual migration and uh, also you want to save time, then you can use this method. The third option is you save your internet data and bandwidth because everything happens on the third party cloud server so you don't have to worry about uh, your data and bandwidth so you save time and internet as well now in this video what we'll be doing for demonstration purpose let's say the from domain is geekywebwizards.com right so let's say this is our client's website and uh, what we need to do is we need to um, Put this website on our server on our demo server that is gwwdemosites.com slash d15 right this is the destination server location so here we want to we wanted to put this website and do all the work off for this website and then we'll uh, migrate this website back to the client's location once it is approved so how to do that we'll be transferring a website from here to this web this server to the host so let's say um, we, ca we can call this as from domain and to domain source host and destination host right before we start what details we will be needing from the source host in the sense from where we want to migrate right for that we will be needing wordpress admin username and password and from the destination host what we will need is we need cpanel username and password and host ip address or else if you if the client doesn't share use a cpanel username and password just ask them to share ftp servers username and password and host ip right server name or host ip so if you have these details then we are good to go and also make sure that wordpress a blank wordpress is installed in the destination host location as well right so this is the introduction so let's get started so https geekywebwizards.com is our uh, website from where we want to transfer or migrate it to gwwdemosites.com slash d15 right let's go right so this is the location where we want this website 
geekywebwizards.com this is our client's website and this website we want to work on this so we will not be working directly on client server right so we want this copy of this website here on our demo server under this url and we'll work on that and then we'll put it back to the client's location how to do that first you need to log in into your source website uh, wordpress dashboard Once you log in into your source website, go to plugins and click on add new and search here for a plugin called as Migrate Guru. So can you see this uh, logo over here from by the team called Migrate Guru. So you need to install this plugin and activate it. Now once you activate it, um, you will be redirected to this page called Easy WordPress Migrations. Just enter your email address here. and check this box to agree with their terms and condition and as you can see here the supported host is GoDaddy, Bluehost, Site, Ground, Host, Gator, Flywheel, CPanel, Remote, State, Hosting, Iron Motion, WP Engine, FTP. Uh, so if your hosting provider is not listed over here, you can rest assured that CPanel and FTP is available. So you can literally transfer or do migrations for any of the web hosting provider out there. Right? And then click on migrate site now in this page you need to select your hosting provider if you don't find any hosting provider over here you have these two options called cpanel or via ftp you can migrate your website from ftp or cpanel i prefer cpanel more than ftp but in case for in case uh, your client doesn't uh, allow you to use cpanel then ask him uh, for uh, source destination ftp password or something right so let me click on cpanel in this video we'll see how to do it from cpanel once you click on cpanel these are the four details you need to fill up here what is the detail what are the detail destination site url so this is the site where i want this website right gwgeekywebwizards.com i want it here so what is the url i'll copy the entire url and paste it over here just make sure that you have right URL. This, this is uh, 25, right? Slash 25. So it is 25. And now destination server IP address. You need to have the destination server IP address. If you remember, I said to you that before you start, you need to have the details of the destination server cPanel username, password and host IP address. So I need an IP address for this and username password. So how to get that? You need to log in into their cPanel, into the destination server cPanel and check the IP address. So let me log in to cPanel. If you have the details, you can start right away, but I don't have, so I am just logging into my cPanel and seeing, I'll see what, what is the, IP address. All right. On the right side, you will have under this general information tab, you have this option called as shared IP address or dedicated IP address based on your hosting uh, plan. Get this IP address and paste it here. Now you need to have cPanel username as well. You will get that username as well from here under G general information, the current user. Copy this and paste it here now you need to add password once you have entered your password if you don't know these details you can get these from the hosting provider right 
so once you enter the ip address username password and the destination url just click on this green button called as migrate so whatever details we have added there the server will automatically validate it if it is successful if, if, if the details are correct then it will be successfully validated and the migration will start you just need to wait till the migration starts well so migration has started successfully and that's why we are seeing this screen now and migrate from geekywebwizards.com to gwwdemosites.com slash 25 it is migrating from here to here so it will show you the progress over here how many uh, files have been transferred how many bytes of files how many uh, database tables and the complete site migration and configurations everything will be transferred you can you'll be able to see from this progress bar you can cancel the migration in between also but we don't want that we want to we want migration to happen right so this is our website after some time once that migration is completed if you refresh it refresh this one we should be having the new site so let's wait and uh, see once this is completed all right guys so as you can see the migration has been completed successfully from this website to destination this website so this was our uh, source destination right let me refresh it and see if the site migration has been completed successfully or not yes absolutely so we have got our new site over here let me check the source source is also perfect and destination is also perfect right so i hope uh, you have understood how to use this plugin and uh, even once you have started the migration you can uh, turn the system off because the process of migration is being taken place from the cloud right so you don't have to worry about that so i hope you have uh, a great solution now and you'll make use of it um, so i'll see you in the next video thank you